Hey everyone, and welcome to Jeopardy, my capstone. This is game one, round one. Uh, so if our contestants could introduce themselves. Mrs. Burmeister, Mrs. Grassman, and Mrs. Veit. Thank you. Uh, and uh, just keep in mind that we are not affiliated in any way with Jeopardy, Sony Pictures, or Sony Pictures Entertainment. <laughs> and here are the categories. Fortune 500 companies. The Modern Olympics, Global Landmarks, Chocolate Brands, and French Pastries. Uh, Mrs. Burmeister, Mrs. Burmeister, you'll leave us off. Oh boy. Okay, I will do Modern Olympics for 200. This country has won more gold medals than any other country. Yes. China. Who is China? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Yes. Who is Russia? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. <laughs> the answer was America. Oh. Uh, you're still in control of the board. Oh. Okay. Two. Um. I will take American landmarks for two hundred. This Washington, D.C. landmark remembers America's first president. Yes. What is the Washington Monument? That is correct. Oh, so then I pick another one. Mm -hmm. um, American landmarks for 400. The tablet on this landmark reads July IV MDCCLXXVI. Yes. What is the Statue of Liberty's tablet? That is correct. I'll accept it. Your control. Uh, modern Olympics for 400. This sprinter is the only person to win the 100 meter, 200 meter, and 4 by 100 meter events at three consecutive Olympics. Yes. Who is Hussein Bolt? That is correct. Nice. Good job. I will do American landmarks for 600. Remembering four presidents, this national monument is one of the most visited. Yes. What is Mount Rushmore? That is correct. American landmarks for 800. Legally, the United States Postal Service is required to deliver packages to the bottom of this, even though it's a pain. Yes. What is the Grand Canyon? That is correct. That's cool. Wow. American landmarks for a thousand. This building is so tall, it's the tallest point in Florida. I'm sorry, you're out of time. <laughs> Gotta be the space something. It was the Kennedy Space uh, Center. Too bad you didn't guess. It's commercial. Am I still, is it still yes. my turn? Let's try um, French pastries for 200. This kind of bakery is not classified as a bakery because they specialize in hot drinks. Yes. What is a cafe? That is correct. You're in control. Um, chocolate brands, 200. This chocolate manufacturer makes candy under their own name, as well as under brands like Reese's and York. Yes. What is Hershey? That is correct. That's all I got on now. <laughs> um, I have zero. All right, you're in control. Um, Fortune 500 companies, 200. This grocery store chain own, owns many other smaller brands, such as Pick and Save and Metro Mart. Yes. What is Roundies? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Oh, I was going to say the same thing. Roundies. I think it's... Can she guess again? I'm sorry, no. 
I'm sorry, you're out of time. The answer was Kroger. Oh, oh Kroger. Kroger, yeah. They just bought, I think they just bought around these. You're in control. Ooh, um, let's do French pastries 400. In many bakeries, this croissant is made of a day old croissant, cut in half, and then filling and topping are applied. I'm sorry, you're out of time. The answer was an almond croissant. Oh, almond croissant, of course. You're still in control? Okay, chocolate brands, 400. This company makes the popular chocolate hazelnut spread Nutella. Um, gosh, I should I know the company. I'm sorry, you're out of time. The answer was Ferrero. Ferrero, okay. Sorry, we're not as good as the people on TV. You still guys have points. Modern Olympics for 600. This man has won more gold medals than any other person in the history of the modern games, with 28 in total. Yes. Who is Michael Phelps? That is correct. Uh, let's do Fortune 500 for 400. This retail giant, giant is ranked number one on the Fortune 500. Yes. Walmart? Uh, answer in the form of question, please. Oh. What is Walmart? That is correct. Let's do Fortune 500 for the next amount. Founded in 1903, this American automaker is 12th on the Fortune 500. Okay, Maggie can go. <laughs> what is Ford? That is correct. Okay, girls. It's not good. You're going to get the next one. Mm -hmm. Maggie, you get Ooh, to sorry, choose. Sorry, sorry. Um, let's do chocolate brand 600. This European chocolate manufacturer has the popular Lindor line of chocolate. Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. But I don't know who makes it. Yes. What is Mercier? Mercier? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Do we get to see the answer? The answer was Lint. Oh, Lint. Oh, I Lint. should have known that because it's in the name. Uh, you're still in control. Oh, jeepers. Okay, um, French pastry, 600. Made with light choux dough, topped with chocolate and filled with cream, this classic pastry means lightning in French. You know, this is really bad because I actually watch the Great British Baking Show all the time. <laughs> I like it too, but this is not. I'm sorry, out of time. No, yeah. what the, is uh, the answer was an eclair. Eclair, oh, so no, I would have never said this. I see, I thought chocolate dough. I was, it wasn't chocolate dough. You're still in control? Sorry. Um, chocolate brands, 800. It's a daily double. Ooh, Ooh, Maggie. So, what can I do? I'm sorry. I know the rules and I still messed it you up. You can bet up to 400. I'll right? do 400. Why not? I mean, I'm just, it's either it's now do or die. 400, please. This world-renowned chocolate company is based in San Francisco. Ah. Wait a second. Chocolate company in San Francisco. Oh. Why don't we know? Let's yeah. say it is, what is... I don't know. But you were saying, I had to because I wasn't going to lose it anyways, aren't oh, I? Oh, how about, no, Cadbury is an email. You can't give her the answer. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, I don't know. If I don't say anything, do I get to keep my 400? No. So that's, like, that's why I was like, I'm just going to go with it. Sorry. Okay. No, I don't know. I'm sorry. The answer was uh, Giardelli. Oh, Giardelli. Oh. Yeah, that's not Italian. No. Okay. I, at least she had points. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still my turn? Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> modern Olympics 800. This was the first nation to host a modern Olympics. Yes. Greece. Answer the form of question, please. What is Greece? That is correct. Mm. Wow. Kicking butt. Uh, let's do modern Olympics for a thousand. This is what these Olympic rings stand for. Yes. The continents that send athletes. What? What are the continents that send athletes to the modern Olympics? 
That is correct. I also would have accepted flag colors. Okay. Wow. Let's try Fortune 500 for 800. Answer. Daily Ooh. double. I'll, I'll bet. Um, okay, so when the game is over, does it matter how many points I have, or does it just matter if you win or lose? Uh, well, the amount of points uh, more than the other people. Yeah. Okay. I'll just bet 600. All right. Here's the clue. The second T in number nine company, AT&T's name, stands for this. Um, <clears throat> Ameri so can I just talk for a second? It's like American Telephone and Telegraph, or is it American Telegraph and Telephone? Do I have to get it actually right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember if it's the Telegraph or the Telephone that's Take a really first. Yes, you can do it at 50, 50, come on. 50. Okay, what is Telegraph? That is correct. Nice! Yes! Nice! The telegraph came before the phone. Yeah, that's that's, that's why I, I feel like it. that's why I feel like it should have been American Telegraph and Telephone. Oh, it's the second team. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Um, let's do Fortune five hundred for a thousand. Number forty on the Fortune five hundred is occupied by this aircraft manufacturer. Yes. What is Boeing? That is correct. Yeah, I would have gotten it wrong. There would have been the negative thousand. Um, chocolate brands, a thousand. Mars Wrigley is famous for their M&Ms, as well as this celestial bar. Yes. What is Milky Way? That is correct. Oh, well, my gosh, I should have gotten that one. You're in control. Oh, well, French pastries for 800. Known as a chocolate croissant in the U.S., this flaky breakfast pastry is called this in France. We'll know when you say it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> the answer was uh, pain au chocolat. Oh, pain au chocolat. I also would have accepted chocolatine. And the final clue. This French word is used to describe a bakery that bakes breads and cakes as well as pastries. Yes. What is a boulangerie? I'm sorry, that isn't correct. Oh, man. What is it? <laughs> I'm Sorry, you're out of time. <laughs> the answer was a boulangerie patisserie. Oh, yeah, I said that was right at the top of my tongue. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had that one, too. That was so fun. Thank you. So your you. scores are 1,500 and zero. Did you have to know? Uh, we'll enter the final Jeopardy. And the category is Works of Shakespeare. You can write down your totals. Wait, I'm sorry. You have to figure out how much you're going to bet. Oh, we're betting right now. Okay. Let's bet. And here's the clue. Spoiler alert. This play, authored by Shakespeare, ends in the main character getting stabbed with a poisonous sword. You have 30 seconds. Go. On to our first contestant. Okay, so I bet, or whatever, I'm not sure, bet thousand, and uh, what is Macbeth? I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay, I bet 500, and my guess was what is Hamlet? That is correct. Wow. Do I get to go? Yeah. I bet nothing, but hi, Mom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right, uh, with what was it? Uh, 6,100. Uh, you move on to the finals. Woo! Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you.